Yu-Gi-Oh! What up, Barely Yu-Gi-Oh! We got the bulk bozos over here going in. <laughs> oh no, they actually <laughs> <laughs> All right, we got Phil. He's got his Raid Raptor deck. Uh, He's the only one at Locals that uh, has the balls to play this, so we're going to go ahead and get his list from him because it's been it's a pretty it. fun deck. How long have you been playing this? Since Phantom Rage. All right, so I would say that you're pretty, pretty well versed with it. But, yeah, uh, quite a bit. So yeah, it's a precursor or, or Wink Alley. This is, this is the main Wink condition here. Uh, I don't find Pure super fun to play personally because you're sitting on big towers after the big pop it just kind of feels like you don't have any more interaction and then if your opponent walls up it doesn't feel great to play into uh but yeah that's that's a cali package here uh one force you don't need multiple they turn them so that they're facing this oh, way right thank you yeah so so there's that over here. I only play one force because uh, I run pain in this list, so Noir can uh, make a force. But otherwise, force isn't really super needed in Kaliuga variant. Under an hour left. We're gonna let you stay three. Cool. So gracious. Play two knights. Uh, you can recycle the knight with roost, but I have had like grind games where the second one comes up, especially on a pre-release day. That happened a lot, so I definitely like having two knight. Uh, of course, you have the one brave. This is the best card in the whole deck at this point, I think. If not, it's probably the arsenal. So this guy will grab you your rank up, and it'll let you get into arsenal here. And arsenal is uh, is your, you know, that's probably the best card in the entire deck at this point because it floats in the ultimate falcon after you link it away. It gets this guy alone its full combo. If you want to do other packages like Fenrir, but yeah. Uh, one wise, I would probably play a second one if I had the choice. And obviously, even though I'm Kali Yuga, we're still making the really big bird uh, as an option going second. If I want to keep playing and end the game, this is probably the best way to do it. I imagine the extra deck is pretty tight. Uh, it's pretty tight, yeah. Okay, so other than one wise, is there anything else that you would say? I mean, I imagine it's pretty dialed in at this point, but I mean. To an extent, yeah, it's pretty dialed in. Uh, Kali gets a little more freedom because you're not, because uh, Fuzzy Lanius locks you into Raid Raptors, and I'm not using that obviously because I need uh, access to Gaga and Bardiche. Okay. So we get a little more freedom. So what I would probably cut for the second wise, for, for the second wise, is this guy here. Because uh, Nightmare is usually a good thing to fall back on. Uh, if you're getting disrupted a lot, but SP Little Knight definitely fills the exact same role. I don't have mine on me right now, so we're using Austin's. Shout out to Barely Yu-Gi-Oh. <laughs> um, obviously, I'm not liking this card more and more as time goes on, but this guy has definitely stole a lot of games for me. Uh, Knight just goes straight into him, and you just end the game right there. And uh, there are certain decks where if you have a uh, wing under it, and you sit on like maybe like a 6k 8k attack guy uh they can't really out it because can't be targeted and he can't be destroyed like inherently so that's pretty nice and then last slot's typhon uh this is especially good in the Kaliuga variant especially because uh, of this guy right here there has been uh definitely a lot. i've had it happen once or twice where uh this will go into any dark xyz so that counts this guy here. So you use your Typhon, you have this in hand, you set it, next turn, you flip it, you just blow up their entire board after using Typhon. Dirty. It is really dirty, no one expects it. So. Inquisition to give you. <laughs> so yeah, that's, that's the extra deck. I'll leave that over there for you. Uh, get the monster lineup. First thing we got is three wing, it's probably the most necessary card in the entire deck because uh, on top of being an extender as well as a good uh, normal summon because he also works in grave as well as hand he detaches to uh, summon himself uh, second effect is any dark xyz it's attached to can't be targeted so this is your main counterplay to imperm on raiders knight and it's very necessary to play around that so you're normal summoning him a lot of the time uh, got some more here is a great extender uh, chain blocks wise it can 
I'm sure that comes up quite a bit where the chain blocking is like it's like the same thing for Derek Crane for chains. It's just use it every time you can. Yeah. Definitely helps a lot. Uh, it normal summoning himself has come up before in weird situations. Uh, definitely a lot more in the past than now because this guy is pretty oh, yeah, old. Okay. Uh, got around Italy when that was relevant, and uh, it was let me get all the way into Bardiche and beat over it. Or uh, not beat over it, use it as weak material. So I got three, three Strangle, Best Extender, Dark Locks you, but you don't care, everything's dark. So Allow, it, it is the main reason uh, Tribute Lane is here is now a one card combo. So you fun three of this, your best normal summon, but in the deck by far. Uh, what you're sending off, it's Mimicry here. Is, uh, oh, oops. Not bad. It's Mimicry here. This is uh, your main, this is this is what makes uh, Tribute the one card combo. You send it the grave and you banish it to search any Raptor card. So you're adding Strangle off of this, going to Knight, go off. Uh, most people are on one, I'm on two. Because uh, I'm really paranoid about okay. just drawing my one of, and then all my tributes are oh. not dead, but definitely a lot less impactful. And then, of course, it's not a one card anymore because I'm not on the fuzzy lanius. Oh, the fusion, yeah, this this one's uh, Bloom. Uh, when the support was first announced, uh, Raid Raptor was on a lot of side engines, so this guy definitely didn't feel super good. But uh, as time went on, and people are taking a lot more of a pure approach to the main deck, even in the Cali variant, mm -hmm. he's super nice uh, as your second push into a board. So they disrupt the normal summon, and you can just keep playing. Uh, his secondary effect has come up a lot too when they wipe your board and they can't kill you. Uh, now you can just put two bodies on the board and threaten them immediately without investing anything. Uh, also, sending it off a droplet's really nasty because you can just revive himself. Uh, one vanishing. This comes up if I'm trying to protect uh, my arsenal uh, from imperm of. Uh, with wing under it because uh normally you would uh summon this get a revive but if it doesn't have a dark x or z under it you can't get that revive anymore so you can use this dump one out of your hand to get that second body you need two noir uh I'm not really sure why I'm on two. It could be at one or three. It's definitely one of the more at your discretion numbers in the entire deck. It's it's an okay normal summon. It can also just be put at one because you summon off our arsenal and it's okay. Uh, speaking of the targets, I'm on pain and not heal because I'm not up here, so I don't need to recycle the rank up. Uh, also, this allows this allows Noir to make forest, which matters a lot more. And then the one I'm singing. Uh, this one might be one I cut at some point. It's not necessary, but it's definitely not ever hurt me. Uh, it's a free summon if you make the four strips and you can keep it playing. So that's the monsters. So this list is uh, 45, I believe I counted. And so I definitely took a lot heavier approach on the non-engine, three imperm. Droll, three Valor. This is the second most expensive card. Three Ash and yeah. three Nib. Uh, I side decked the cross out, so uh, I just, if I want to go, if I know I'm going first game two or three, I like take out like third copies of things if I don't need them and side in the cross out and other things I'd rather need, like Bell, uh, I guess certain matchups. So there's that. 15 is a pretty high number, and I definitely liked it a lot more than just going full gas. <laughs> uh, I got the spells and traps. Roost, this is the only reason your deck's able to grind at all. And uh, it pluses, it's free. If you um, if you don't go straight into Brave Strix, you can just get this off, you can just get this off and, like, for free. It says Y Strix will set the rank up for you. Uh, the search target off of this is usually, usually a uh, Glory Sprite here. Uh, this is your basically your Omni Negate, your Spot Negate, because uh, you almost nine times out of ten have a XYZ a right after on field, even if you get disrupted a lot. But sometimes you only have the right after monster, and it's still imperm, so which is fine. And you know, and on top of all that, it recurs you like uh, it gets you follow up because it banishes yourself to add one from uh, graveyard to hand. Got the big rank up for the rank thirteen. Uh, going first, I don't always go for this, but. Uh, if I just open Cracked and just keep going, this is really nice to have. 
the obligatory skip force you need this for combo to go from brave to arsenal obligatory called by your combo deck you want to you want to see that uh foolish foolish is super as impactful without fuzzy but it's still really nice to have and it justifies my second mimicry a bit more so it can be used as an extender if need be yeah it, it allows you to get into any reactor card you want technically uh, then this is the Kaliuga rank up. This allows Arsenal to go into Kaliuga. Right. So that's that's about it. Is that a 45 card main deck? Yeah. So this is definitely a deck you probably want to get over 40 on if you can. I think I would adjust the numbers a bit more uh, in favor of like seeing a little bit more engine because a lot of these cards, barring obviously these two, these are technically things you don't want to see, right. but they're pretty mandatory to an extent. For just like the strategy of Raid Raptors. Yeah, like you don't, there's people that don't run these going like uh, like in their main deck, they side it instead and that's, I get the logic, you don't always want to see them. Yeah, there's that. You don't always want to see them, but it definitely gimps you really hard, especially if you're playing pure, because uh, Heart and Soul Pure is definitely on Roost. Right on. Beautiful, beautiful. Um, yeah, I guess any final comments or things about it? People that are wanting to play it, it looks like it's pretty straightforward. Just a lot of fuck ton of birds. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure if I have any real comments here. Uh, I've been playing it for a while, so what I've noticed is you need to definitely experiment a bit more because there's a lot of stuff that's undiscovered about this deck uh, pretty recently people have been using a lot of because reactor is one it's an anime archetype so they have a bunch of cards that like seem as useless but uh, we've been finding uses for it there's a uh, rank up revolution force has been ways to play around hand traps like imperm ogre uh, so that's definitely one thing I would say is try new stuff out because uh, it'll be what's gonna help you in the end Right on, right on. Thank you very much, Phil. I appreciate it. Yeah.